In this video, I'm going to try and tackle the issue and the problem of the dreaded unmountable drive volume error. So you, you could be doing what I was doing here, happily playing a game, Armour 3, and all of a sudden it said um, the game just quit and said uh, this is an unusual, something unusual error, must back out. Next thing I know, I was watching a few YouTube videos here and there, shut down the computer, next day I booted it up, and it said the dreaded unmountable drive volume. I tried lots of different things to try and work out what it was, and uh, to no avail. So, what I had to do is Google it, and when you Google it, on the mic only look for the Microsoft community one um, that's the best one it says amount amountable boot volume Windows 10 which is the version of Windows I have and this is the best advice here uh, from the uh, support engineer uh, you read through this it's kind of confusing at first but essentially you make sure you press on this link here when you press the net link there, it says here to download the tool. Before you download the tool, make sure you read it. So you, once you download the tool, you can upgrade to Windows 10 using the tool, which is very useful because you may have what I had, which is a damaged SSD drive, which means there's no way on earth you can get you can boot up Windows because you haven't got a Windows. It's not mounting that's what the error is and it can also if you read it perform a clean installation using a USB or DVD so that's pretty much what it is uh, once you use the tool you can't really upgrade your windows straight away using the tool you have to double click on it and um, next thing what happens is you will it will ask you a choice of do you want to uh, burn onto a CD or USB uh, it takes about three gigabytes so I burnt it onto a CD you'll have to use a different computer if your computer is not working and from there I used it use the CD and I tried to boot up my computer with it in the drive so you may have to go to BIOS and change by pressing uh, delete or F2 to change the boot up sequence or even F8 to, to boot directly from the DVD or possibly USB but my guess is the DVD is going to work better and it doesn't boot what happens is it doesn't boot nothing works at all it, it still comes up with the mountable boot volume error or I think in that case once you put in that that uh, DVD that's been burnt in the uh, by using the uh, media creation tool okay what happens is it does not boot up then you know possibly there is an error beyond your control on your on your on your hard disk your SSDs, your hard disk. Well, what I tried doing was unplugging the SSD, and lo and behold, it did boot up. The C the CD, the rescue kind of CD, well, not exactly rescue CD, the media creation tool did boot up. But obviously, the the C, the, the SSD was not plugged in where my all my um, Windows files were, so nothing was working when it was plugged in. But unplug it, and it did work. Make sure you switch off your computer when you do that take off the back panel so I concluded it must be a busted SSD so I, you have to pay 60 whatever and how many pounds you got for the equivalent size SSD so I went put an SSD in plugging it in okay it does the tool does work now so you've got an option either installing a clean completely clean Windows 10 
using the tool option or go to the tool other tool option which is what I did tried some of the tools and um, if you if it obviously if it had booted up if it didn't give you a blank screen you could have used it to check why it's not booting up your windows is not booting up if there's only a slight error in your in your in your ssd you can use some of the tools you need you don't have to buy a new ssd but i, had, I proved that i had to so after that you install onto your your new drive and you boot up and lo and behold it all comes back you, but it's the basic windows so you have to configure do a lot of configuring and not forgetting also there is an extra issue on this motherboard which is the p979 pro it was built for the windows 2007 and i upgraded from windows 2007 to windows 2008 uh 2010 uh, from there, things don't work. Things are not compatible. So what you have to do is you try to install, use the install disk for the uh, the motherboard, okay? Because now your system is not really communicating very well with your motherboard, your new Windows 10 system. So you put the mother, do you put this support disk in? For this is Asus. Uh, there's two discs that come with this uh, Asus P979 X79 Pro. The first one is like a general one for all, with all sorts in there. You, the, your drivers are in there, your support is in there, but this one here, which just says support C, uh, CD, is much better because it's directly for your particular motherboard. Click on it and look, watch, it doesn't work. Asus support CD is not supporting this operating system you think oh my word what now so I was not lost let's get rid of that right click open and when you open it you can click on this one here which is, looks like it's doing exactly the same thing but thankfully this is the motherboard support disk and from here it's just going to take what you, sh you you've got a menu of everything that you need. Some things that you don't require, some things you do. Basically, everything on your mother will be out of sync from your um, from your new uh, drive. Everything's going to be running slow. You'll notice that everything moving very slowly. If you tried installing Google as your um, preferred um, browser, it grinds a complete halt almost. But it, f funny enough, if you did it from here, just click on that. Well, not on that one. The other one. Wait till the other special pops up. Um, you can install like an old version of Google, and somehow it, the machine is not really fighting it. When you install this old version of Google, and it updates naturally. So I did that first. Got Google back, and then these drivers here. You you can press this one. Or what I did was I did them one at a time and I reset my computer really slowly one at a time. I did them all very, very slowly. And not forgetting this Asus AI Suite 2, very important. Uh, so you're going through all of these, some things you won't need, some things you do. But I ran through pretty much all of them. And from there, you get this back this is this very useful tool from here you can do things that like update your BIOS uh, auto tune it you can then you can do your um, you can tune your um, computer the way you want you can update the BIOS and you've got your monitoring tools back on uh, so everything if you've got one of these Windows to 7 computers that has been upgraded to Windows 10 free of charge, everything works absolutely fine until something goes wrong. When you put a new version of Windows in, the Windows 10, using the um, the tools they give you, nothing nothing sits quite right until you put these until you put the drivers back in your motherboard. And I think, if I remember rightly, the the first the first driver on that list on the left was the most important. 
I think it helps your motherboard communicate with your uh, with the new Windows. Okay. It took me two days to do this. I hope this video helps to cut down your time and uh, your frustration. Now, you may have to fork out for a new SSD or a new hard drive. You may not do. If the tool boots up first time, and you haven't unplugged anything obviously you've got a chance of saving your uh, your hard drive by just clicking on uh, fix why does it not boot up uh, tool or something like that all right if you like what you're seeing then please um hit the thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already done so thank you very much